what is going on guys i'm sure you are doing well and i will pray for your good health so that you can learn things easily on this channel called bitfumes with me sarthak and have you ever wondered there are lots of methods in P core php which can just play with a single item on the collection so here also on the level we have same things but in a new way so what are they they are pop pull forgot and we have every also so every is not dealing with a single one but it's a also handy one so let's research these four so first thing yes we have as usual the users table and all the data from the users so we have this and on the chrome everything is here 51 users as usual so now what i'm going to do i'm going to say pop and nothing else so what will be the result so what this will going to affect on our collection let's just see refresh and here we only have the last one the last item from the collection we also only have but let's just do one thing i will say pop item so this item is actually popped so i'm going to return the users and see the result so here you all only have till 50th item that means what this pop to it just remove the item from the collection so that collection is now don't have that 51 id detail of the user so if i echo out pop item you can see we have that particular here but what if i don't want to remove the last one i want to remove any particular with its key so i have a pull method here it's just going to accept any key so let's just remove second item so that will be the key so the item will be removed will have the id of three so yes we are having pop item so i think that has to be pull item okay so we are returning pull item so yes you can see the id 3 which is actually having the key of 2 because 0 1 2 so id 3 is removed and similarly if we return the users here and we can see we don't have that item having an id of 3 here so pop and pull are just same but the difference is pop remove from end and pull is removed from whatever key you have provided so now comes the next one which is forget so forget we have but forget will give you let's just say second once more so let's see the result and again the same thing with the pull so it's not having the item having id 3 but if i try to say forget item so i think i have to say here it is a forget item so let's just return forget item and we are not getting anything because what this forget will do it will remove the second one and then return all other things so like pull is returning the removed one it is not returning the removed one it is returning except removed one everything it is returned so on the forget it just use unset on the pull let's see what it's using pull is using obviously the pull then pop what about the pop okay so pop is using array pop so it's just the wrapper around the core php but it is very useful because you can then chain over these things so like we have this forget okay and in the forget yes we can see we get all these things but now we can map over this so we can do map and then a function and then user and i'm just going to return the uh, user only name and id so let's do this so we can see it says id okay yeah that has that has to be inside single quotes return and yes we are getting this so that's why uh, that's why laravel has given all these just a wrapper around the basic php function so that we can chain the methods because if you use that array pop here like this 
array pop then you cannot use this kind of chaining system which we have used with map so this is very 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 useful that's why these collection methods are here and the last one is every method which is somewhat different from these it's not dealing with the single item but it is very useful that's why i have decided to show it also here so it's just going to use a simple callback function and what it does it just going to return true or false if the condition is true or false inside the callback so if i say uh, we, we have to say user here so accept the user user so now i just want to check if the user is admin is always going to true or not so if this condition is true for every user then this every function is going to return true otherwise false and we know it is not true for every user so the result has to be the false so what i will do i will just say result and i am going to die and dump result okay so let's go refresh and it says false and yes we know every user has some name so i will say user name is not equal to empty so now this is true for every user so this means this every function will return true so let's run and yes we have true so it's just for checking purpose that something is present or something is valid for each and every item of the collection or not so this is all about these four magical methods so if you have liked this episode please go and subscribe to this channel if you have not already subscribed and uh, hit the bell icon to get instant notification and uh, because here level knowledge never ends and don't forget to share these videos with your developer friends so that everyone can get the best thing called level we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye